And welcome to Father Mahoney's House of Horrors. This is a quick review. I'm not going to go deep into this. <clears throat> I just watched uh, the Texas Chainsaw 2022. And I found it rather enjoyable. It wasn't perfect by any means. But it wasn't terrible. You know, thinking it's going to be on Netflix. You know, I'm thinking like the worst. I kind of went in with... Not a lot of expectations, and maybe that's how I should have approached it because it was not great, not not bad. Like, um, <clears throat> you you grow to like the two main characters of Melody and Lila. Um, the the lady who's play I, I'll never pronounce her name because I don't think I'll get it right. But the one that played uh, the returning Sally Hardesty, you know, originally played by Marilyn Burns. This one, well, I'm, I'm going to try. Oh well, Saray. I'm probably way off on that, but <clears throat> uh, she she actually brought uh, a good character to Sa uh, Sally. You know the 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 lady who's been waiting forever to get revenge. You know a little bit of uh, uh, other movies have done it with T two. You know with uh, um, blanking right now. You know, but you know what I mean. Like uh, the, the ones that are been waiting for revenge uh you know she mentions like almost 50 years so it looks like they at least got the timeline right because uh <clears throat> the, the character of sally looks maybe in her 60s so i think they did a good job with the the timeline on this one um the bus scene is so fun um <laughs> when they all they all take out their phones and they're like I feel like that's something like this generation would do too. Like you know, they don't. Today's generation doesn't take things seriously. Whenever there's like crimes going on, instead of helping, they're they're flashing their phones. Uh, the cringy line of being canceled, bro. Yeah, okay. I could have done without that, but <clears throat> it is what it is. It's today's today's lingo. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, the bus scene was so much fun. <clears throat> the background characters are okay. Uh, there's not much. Uh, the only uh, thing I, I, I didn't like too much is there's not a lot of character development. Even in the the two likable girls, of Melody and Lila, like you grow to like them, but <clears throat> you don't really get like a much of a story on them. I mean, they only had an hour. I think the running time was an hour and twenty three. So yeah, that. They kind of had to move things along. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Sally's death was a great scene. Uh, you know, uh, she was so perturbed that basically Leatherface didn't even remember. He was like, he just like l walked past her like nothing. Like, you know, I'll, you're not worth my time. And I think that really got under Sally's skin and. <clears throat> Because she was there to get revenge for her friends and and for herself, you know, have to live with this memory for almost fifty years. So, <clears throat> I mean, like I said, it wasn't a perfect film by any means. It was a fun film. <clears throat> uh, out of a five star, I'll give this a three. Um, I'll, I'd watch it again. I, I I see a lot of people coming down hard on this film, but. Think about it, guys. It's uh, like it's a Netflix. You know, they they sold it to Netflix, and you know, I, I've I've seen a lot worse on Netflix. So, you know, um, kudos. Uh, they leave. They left the door open again for another sequel. So, uh, oh yeah, the ending. You know, when the the two girls are thinking it's all over, that that jump scare and the head cut off with the saw that was classic I actually I really really enjoyed that ending because <clears throat> you think that they're going to go off in the sunset and that was a great a great scene so uh, kudos to them and uh, if you guys uh, disagree or agree leave a drop a comment in the below and uh, remember to click that like and hit that subscribe button because when you subscribe, you get everything first. You know, before I can can share it somewhere else, you will get that notification that I have dropped another video. So, 
Um, this has been another episode of Father Mahoney's House of Sahara's. It's a short one, like I said, but uh, we'll see you next time. Keep on rolling, baby.